Hello, I am Al Capone. And I'm the Birdman of Alcatraz. And today we're going to be talking about Kikai Sensen, episode 4. Uh, so we have essentially watched one quarter, uh, quarter of this uh, anime, so not doing too bad. Uh, so let's talk about this episode. This episode was all over the goddamn place, but you know what? I love the cine- uh, cinematography of the show, uh, the way the camera works with it, the animation, the characters are okay so far. So let's, uh, let's talk about the episode from the beginning. Basically, vampires. Vampires is the theme of this episode because... Um, um, Leonard's on his subway train, meets a guy, talks to the guy, sees red rings, he's at a bar talking to people, and then he's like, oh yeah, I met this guy, and, uh, I saw red wings, and then everybody in the bar suddenly stops, like, were they this color, and he's like, yep, and he goes, oh, dang, the vampires, now we gotta call the vampire specialist, this vampire specialist, uh, was, like, a really good hunter, but then the vampires put a curse on him, basically, he can't be affected by anything, but the people around him can, and, uh, when he goes to meet Zap, it's really funny, cause, like, he's about to be hit by a truck, but then a monster monster hits it, and then a piece of glass flies out, hits Zap in the forehead, Zap's bleeding out blood, and then Leonard gets hit by, like, this metal piece, and he's now hurt on the ground, <laughs> unconscious, and then Zap's, like, to Leonard after the incident, you do realize now he's, like, bad luck, right, and he's like, yeah, no, I totally understand, so he's there talking, and he's like, okay, guys, look, I got this case, inside the case is this vampire hand, this vampire hand is holding onto this special note, this note actually reveals names, uh, n- if you know a vampire's name, it basically means, like, they're done for like you pretty much have won over them but you need to know the name in order to seal them so uh essentially uh leonard tries to read what's on the note but then he his eyes start burning and he stops uh then uh the vampire detective guy takes sim zap and mr klaus uh to hell basically they call it hell he looks down below to see how many vampires there are because there should only be 13 elder vampires that's what they say 13 vampires but then he looks down his eyes like just crash on him he's bleeding from his eyes and he's like no there's more than 13 down there there's like over a thousand and uh there's uh two elder well an elder vampire fighting in the subway and the police are trying to deal with it but they turn into ghouls and die so then you have the guy and uh the girl with the eye patch who come and he's like basically defeats all the ghouls but when they fight the vampire they lose and then mr klaus comes and mr klaus talks to leonard leonard i need to know her name uh, leonard tells her her name and then mr klaus does like the move uh 999 he calls it i don't know what he uh, i don't know what the move is called it's in german i believe uh so you can tell that mr klaus is probably from german or his powers originate there something like that i don't know so he says her name and he seals her up and pretty much just the end of that episode and then uh leonard's like oh, i don't know how humanity is gonna pull up but you know what if there's people like these guys then yeah we'll survive a bit longer and then it's a cut scene to like um the vampire that he met on the train talking to someone and then we got a preview of stuff it's it's just very weird overall so um you can go first oh Okay, uh, very, very good episode. <laughs> it's just as fun as the last three. Elaborate. Kind of hard to. Other than... It's like a Bacchano. <laughs> I would say it's Bacchano in tone and, yeah. like, setting and because it's New York and music-wise. But other than that, I wouldn't say it's Bacchano. It's all over the place, though, eh? Mm. I would say the, the main thing it has going for it is the fact it's fun. Oh, it's so fun to watch. Because the music's good, animation seems okay, characters, I think, could be better. They're not awful. They're, they're okay. It's not, yeah, well, yeah, so by sure. okay, I mean, Leonard, Leonard is fine, Klaus is fine. Klaus is fine, Zap is fine. Zap is fine, everyone else, no idea about them, really. Mm, I Other see. Other than Ghost Girl could be okay. <laughs> Maybe. What about the new vampire guy that's been introduced to us? Uh, which one? The Glass guy the who, yeah, Glasses Kun. Was it established he was a vampire? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, seems fine. He could be better. Oh, but yeah. he, he's probably going to get more interesting, I would assume. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just so cool because, like, I love the music. It's just my number one thing I love about this show because it's set in New York. You're going to get that jazz vibe to it. Yeah, the music is very good. If the soundtrack's not out already, I want it to be. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Then you got, like, the animation, which is okay, but it's not bad at the same time. No, it's it's perfectly serviceable. Yeah, exactly. And then how the camera works, right? Like, in the beginning, when he's walking down to the subway, it's like a first-person thing, right? Yeah. That was pretty interesting. The quote-unquote camera (laughs) works. The, the questionable camera work. But it's good. It, it works well with the show, I'd say. Yeah, it's certainly not... I don't even know if cinema, cinematography is the 
right word, but it's certainly not... It's not bad. Yeah. It, it's actually quite fascinating what they're doing. It's they're just, like, a, a straight face on thing. It's, like, moving around. You get, like, a bird's eye view, a low shot, uh, first person shot. Dude, it's everywhere. And it's fantastic to see that in a show yeah. like this. Also, like, that it's, um, the vampires have some old school vampire rules. Like, they can't like be what? seen in, uh, like, camera footage and pictures and yep. stuff like that. Yep, I love it. And, like, if you, if you try to read their name or something, you'll be yeah. burned or something. Yeah. Although I'm assuming they can get into your house without your permission. You think? I would assume so. Otherwise, they'd be pretty shit villains. <laughs> Actually, no, my my theory is that um, the blonde guy he met on the subway goes to, like, the hideout, and he, and then he's go, like, hey, Leonard, what's up? And Leonard's like, oh, nothing much here, come in. And when he says come in, they're all fucked. I, I wish it was old fucking vampire rules. No one's done old school vampire rules in a long time. Oh, yeah. They're all shiny they disco balls. They're all shiny, <laughs> shiny disco, balls. disco balls. Keeping it alive. Okay, so anyways, this guy, th- guys, this episode was fantastic, and we're, like, criminal mafia guys, and we really like this show so definitely if you haven't already checked it out watch it um eight out of eight rate it mate <laughs> whatever pretty much uh it's great overall episode uh, let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts and pains of this episode if you like what you see and want to see more subscribe to my channel sam's channel look in the description for both um like the video if you like what we were talking about and we shall see you guys in the next episode i have been al capone i've been the Birdman of alcatraz and we shall see you later bye guys bye <laughs>